Hey, this is Dave, and I want to show you something neat. A buddy of mine showed me a tractor magazine the other day, and I was looking through it, reading the articles, and uh, saw this really cool thing. I contacted the people, and they sent me one as a loaner to try out. Uh, I can tell you right now, it looks pretty cool. If it's as easy to do as I think it's going to be, I'm probably going to go ahead and send them some money and keep it. But it's the Oil X Tech Home Lab Microwave Essential Oil extractor okay and what I've got is the instructions really simple one page instructions and then all the stuff that comes with it um, and for simplicity even though there's duplicates of certain things I only have one each laid out and so let's just go through the through the uh, manual and look at what we have first you have one 250 milliliter beaker you have one glass container like a cookie jar you have one upper shield and this is like ceramic coated metal right and then one lower shield you have a lid and attached to this lid there's a screw on knob that screws into this ice holder okay And basically, it's a knob here, right? Test this piece of cardboard. And then this is a funnel that is stopped up. And you fill up the funnel to, there's a mark. Then you lay this on top and put it in the freezer, and it is frozen, okay? And it sits in the freezer in this mug, right? So this piece of cardboard plastic with this plastic uh, bolt through it is the um, is the ice core so this piece of plastic cardboard ring with instructions on it and this plastic bolt that's the ice core okay it's got a funnel it has this uh, mug you have four vials two milliliter oil vials, a couple of pipettes, and then a flask to separate the, the essential oil from the hydrosol. Okay? Now, I have not messed with this at all other than to put the ice cores, right? And so I'm going to do this video using um, orange peels. Never have done this before, right? just to see how simple it is. Once we mess with a little bit, I've got some other things that we're going to try. All right, but step one is pretty simple. You get out the fill, the, the uh, funnel. There's a lip with a mark. You fill the water up to the mark. You stick this in the top of it. And you stick it in your uh, mug and stick it in there until it freezes, right? And there's two of them and I've frozen both of them. The next thing you want to do is take your glass jar and you want to put whatever it is you're going to uh, get the essential oils out of. Okay, so we're going to make us some essential oils and we're going to make um, orange essential oil. And so we want to get the juice out of the um, skin, right? But the problem is if we just peel the things and we throw the rind in there, we won't get near as much oil as if we take the zest off. Now you could get a zester and uh, that'd probably be a good way of doing it. But I've just got an old potato peeler and we're just going to uh, peel it, right? And peel off about four or five oranges, medium sized oranges. And we're just going to keep this out of rind. That's right, boo boo. Alright, so here's our uh, stuff. Stuff? Okay. <laughs> we have the fruit peels in the um, distiller. Here's the ice core, right, with the funnel. Right. And it's got the lid. What you want to do is you want to uh, 
break this out and so you can lift out the ice right you don't want to run it with the funnel and you also want to unscrew the uh, nut there and take this off this wasn't in the instructions I had to see this on their instructional video on their YouTube page but uh, see what happens when you run it uh, with the uh, piece of plastic on there so I'm just gonna put that nut back on put it in the lid tighten that down right center that and you can run the instructions say six to eight minutes okay I've got the mug in the back because I've got a small microwave three quarters full of water I've got everything in there then we're gonna run it at full power for six to eight minutes okay more power for microwave less time here's the deal though and this is why you have to do this a couple times you don't want to run it for so long that you don't have any ice left in that ice core right because after you run it it's gonna sit for a little while and all the steam that comes up from the orange peels are gonna to have to condense back down if you run it and melt all the ice it's not gonna condense okay so as you do it you need to sort of pay attention to what you're doing but we're gonna we're gonna cut the middle out we're gonna do it for seven minutes okay after it's done we're gonna let it sit in the microwave for five minutes because it's very hot right don't touch it with your bare hands you'll burn yourself after five minutes of letting it cool we're gonna take it out and we're not going to open it. We're going to let it sit close for another 15 minutes. That allows all those vapors to condense, right? And you want to be real careful because it's, that's glass. Now it's lab glass, but you don't want to have hot glass on cold surfaces, right? So if you've got like a marble countertop or anything that's kind of cold, you don't want to take it out and set it on it. It may make it crack, all right? So, all right. Here's my oil. Okay. And you can smell it. Here, smell that. Whew, it smells good. It smells like oranges. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what we have to do is separate the oil from the hydrosol, which is oil saturated water, right? And so to do that, we have this separator. Now what I'm going to do is pour slowly, but in one motion, we're going to fill this up with this water, okay? Okay. Yeah. See how that's full? Then I'm just going to hold my hands and I'm just going to spin it and we're going to work that all up to the top. Okay? You can't hardly see that very well. But I've got the water, then I've got oil. And you can see kind of a separation in there. Okay, and uh, what you then do is take this pipette, squeeze the bulb, shoot the air out. You want to put, put it down into the layer of oil. As you let the uh, bulb go, it's going to suck some of the oil up, and then you'll put it into your, into your collected vial. Okay, and these, these little vials of essential oils are pretty expensive. Okay. So, let's zoom in. And now I have some essential oils. And you can see there's still a little bit of oil in my jar, okay? So, this works pretty good. It's 
pretty interesting. I'm going to play with the uh, process a little more. And, you know, I, I'm going to put a link to where you can get one of these things. This oil distilling kit's about 150 bucks or so. All right. So I appreciate it. And until next time, we'll catch you online. TNGun.com.